Good morning, everybody. We're here at the Golani Distillery this morning. I'm Mary from Neshika, and this is... David Zibel from Golani Distillery. Good morning. Awesome. And we're going to make some stuff together involving honey, uh, which is one of our products, or our bees products, and some marvelous alcoholic things that David has in store. So we thought it was a good opportunity to partner. We're going to, we selected a lovely Etrog gin, which he's just explained to me. I found it interesting as you were explaining about those gins, all of the botanicals that you listed have to be pollinated. And our right. primary message is not so much about honey, which is fantastic, but uh, what the bees do and how essential they are to all of our things. So if we didn't have bees, We'd have, no a, gin. we'd have a problem making gin. Have a problem making gin. So let's get started, David. If you don't mind, I'm going to ask you to put the salt and the sugar together in that bowl, and awesome. And you can give that a swish together. Nice effect that the pink uh, the, salt with the brown the sugar. Pink and the brown and the white all there together. And I'm gonna I'm pouring this honey in here. And that's great, David, thank you. And next we're gonna need some gin. Duh, 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 duh. Do you have the ability to measure it with one of those great cocktail-ish measuring tools? Because the yeah. amount that we need is 30 milliliters. Actually make it about 50. How, how much is that? This is, uh, this is I'd say 15. Okay, so, so three of these? Yeah, three. Can I smell that before you pour it in? There you go. Oh wow, it really smells like uh, citron. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Here, we're gonna give that a mix. And we're gonna add our mustard. Da, 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 da. So this whole recipe will be available on our blog. Um, via our website, 29 Days of Honey more than 29 recipes with honey for the month of Elul, for the month leading up to Rosh Hashanah. Okay, so we've got our wets, we've got our dries. These guys, the juniper berries and the, and the um, dill, we're gonna put them in last. So David, I'm gonna give you two slabs and I'm gonna take two slabs and let's just open these up okay. and you know, put like four spoonfuls, I think, into each one. Got it. Here, let's see. How about if I hold it and you scoop it in? Yeah. When? It's a little smaller. Yeah. Okay. And probably five one in that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great. Okay, then here we'll get these guys. And the cool thing about Roblox and honey and and alcohol products, for example, is it's it's raw salmon. Raw salmon. But what the sugars in the honey as well as in the alcohol do is they break down the cell walls of the fish. And that allows also the flavorings of these various things to soak in over time. So this isn't something, this is something you have to plan ahead. Here, stick another spoonful in there. We should use it all up. Yeah, yeah. Equally distributed. Okay, all right. Perfect. Get this out of the way. Now it's your turn to hold the bags open and I'll Perfect. try and pour this in without slopping it all over your hands. How about that? So what we're gonna do after we do this is we'll put the dry stuff in, the other dry stuff, the juniper berries and the dill. And then you're gonna put it in the fridge for, I recommend like five days. Three days is okay, a week is best, yeah. uh, but under pressure and like flip it a little every day. Uh, Awesome. I didn't tell you, but I, I used I used to do this in Costa Rica. I, no way! I used to cure fish and meats, so it's a lot of fun. Here, each of these bags a little. 
shot of juniper berries. Oh, where do you get these juniper berries from, David? Uh, I get them from a local supplier called Alalim. Um, they actually, they sell in, in health food stores. So if you go to a health food store, you should be able to get some Alalim prepackaged, you know, 100 grams or 50 grams. It's <laughs> Mardell. Guys, okay. I yes. didn't realize you had a background. Now I'm really embarrassed. Probably. No, 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 no. This, is, this yeah, looks really good. Silly. You didn't say anything silly? Okay. <laughs> Not yet. I must be off my game then. All oh. right. So I use plates like this in my fridge, and I usually put something heavy on top, like a couple dozen eggs or something like that, or some cans or, you know, bottles of beer or something like that. And, you know, twice a day I go in and I flip it over. And like I said, like within three days, you're able to slice it up and it'll be start great. making this before hog. It'll be ready for hog. Just in time, Just in time Just for in hog. Time. So now's the time to start making your grav locks and pick up some Golani gin. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> We're doing this as part of our 29 days of honey series. And we're really glad to have joined David here at the Golani Distillery. Uh, you can follow us, Nishika, on our website, nishika.com, as well as on social media like Facebook or YouTube or Instagram. And we want to wish you all a happy new year. Mm -hmm.